Alright so, you've decided to dive into the world of Linux, or maybe you're a seasoned veteran looking for your next daily driver, you want something that just works, no drama, no fuss, no sudden crashes in the middle of a render or a gaming session. That's why today, we're staging the ultimate stability showdown. In this corner we have the long reigning champion of user friendliness and reliability, Linux Mint 22.3, and in the other corner, its upstream parent, and one of the most popular distros on the planet, Ubuntu 24.10. It's a classic family feud, but our focus isn't on features or flash. It's all about rock-solid, dependable, set-it-and-forget-it stability. This isn't just another distro review where I tell you which one has a prettier icon pack. We're going deep. We're going to push these systems, scrutinize their foundations, and really get to the bottom of which one is less likely to leave you staring at a kernel panic screen when you're on a deadline, the goal here is simple, to give you all the information you need to decide which of these Linux titans is the most stable foundation for your specific needs, whether you're a developer, a content creator, a student, or just someone who wants their computer to be a reliable tool instead of a constant project. Throughout this video, we'll be comparing everything from the initial installation experience to long-term maintenance, hardware support, and how they handle software updates. Is Mint's conservative approach with its long-term support base the key to unbreakable stability, or has Ubuntu's latest release managed to iron out the kinks and deliver a cutting-edge experience that's just as reliable? Let's find out. And stick around, because the answer might not be as straightforward as you think. Let's get this stability showdown started, right after a word from our sponsor. The first test of any operating system is the installation. Ubuntu 24.10's installer is polished and modern, guiding you smoothly from USB to desktop. Linux Mint 22.3 feels more utilitarian, but every option is clear and reliable. Both handled our test systems flawlessly, even quirky hardware. Ubuntu looks next-gen, Mint is like a trusty old hammer. For most users it's a tie, both are top tier for installation. The desktop environment is where you'll spend most of your time, so stability matters. GNOME is clean and modern but can feel heavy, especially with extensions. Cinnamon on the other hand, is light, responsive, and rock solid, even on older hardware. After days of testing Cinnamon had zero crashes, it just works. If you want a desktop that never gets in your way, Cinnamon is the clear winner. Ubuntu 24.10 offers the latest software and hardware support apps, which can cause issues despite their promise of isolation. Linux Mint 22.3, built on Ubuntu's LTS base, focuses on proven stability, user control, and avoids forced snaps. For long-term reliability, Mint's conservative approach makes it the clear winner for stability-focused users. An OS can be rock-solid in a virtual machine, but real-world hardware is the true test. Mint and Ubuntu both shine here, thanks to shared DNA and Canonical's hardware support. Most modern Intel, AMD, and NVIDIA hardware just works out of the box. Ubuntu's newer kernel supports the latest gear faster. Mint's older LTS kernel means extra stability for established hardware. So, for new tech, pick Ubuntu. For tried and true machines, Mint is hard to beat. When something goes wrong, the support you find matters as much as the OS itself. Ubuntu's massive community means answers are usually just a search away, but Linux Mint's smaller, friendlier forums are famous for patience and helpfulness. For new users, Mint's welcoming community is a big plus, while Ubuntu's vast knowledge base is invaluable for experienced users. After testing both, which distro wins for stability? For rock-solid long-term reliability, Linux Mint takes the crown. Its LTS base and careful updates make it incredibly dependable. Ubuntu is modern and reliable, especially for newer hardware. Ultimately, the choice is yours. Do you want absolute stability or the latest features? Let me know your experience with Mint or Ubuntu in the comments. Let's get a real community discussion going.